Hey guys, this is my 1989 Carbon DC um, 127. Um, it's not really done yet, but I do have my bridge humbucker in. My tremble is done. I'm still waiting on a locking nut to come in. Um, and the other, I'm putting a Jazz in the neck. I think that what it was an SH2. I, I traded a guy for an invader on a forum. So I've got an SH2 coming in to put in the neck. And there will be another switch uh, put in right here, just like this um, DP, DT on, on, on switch. Uh, more on that later. Um, these are both push pulls on my volume and tone circuits. Um, this is in SH, oh, I want to say 14, uh, the alternative 8. So the interesting part is when we get to the back, this wiring setup right here is very unique. Um, the reason for that, I'll grab the camera and show you guys. Alrighty, so, if you notice, these are both push-pull pots, but the pickup is going straight. I don't know how well you can see this. I'm going to try and get a better view. Um, yeah, the gold foil or the copper foil makes it really hard for cameras to focus on this. But um, this switch right here is a DP DT on 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 switch. Now, what that means is that every position is on for something. So that switch is going to control whether my bridge pickup is in parallel, single, which is one of the coils working, or they're both running in series. Now that is very useful. It allows me a very, very big palette of tones. Now if you notice from that, we have a red lead going over here to the first of the, the push-pull uh, potentiometers. Now what that is, is this right one right here, that is going to control whether my pickups are um, either the bridge or the neck are on, or they're both on at the same time. Um, so if it's pulled out, either they're both on, and if it's pushed in, this one right here has control whether it's the bridge when it's pushed in, or if it's the neck when it's pulled out. And this is very, very useful, because if you're switching between your middle and your bridge, let's say, all you've got to do is just push that in. It's already set up for you. Um, now both these pickups are going to have these same switches, that's what I'm waiting for here. Um, and that's going to be done. That's a very unique wiring, I don't really think I've ever seen it before. And the exciting part about that is, is there's a lot of possibilities to go with it. Um, plus on the, uh, another good thing about it was, is if you, if you have an old guitar like this, you really don't want to drill holes into it. Um, so this avoided having to do that to outfit it with modern electronics because Carvin, um, Carvin pickups, they actually have three leads. They have like a red, a black, and then a white, um, which is a center tap. The white is, so you can use a switch. Oh, I just pulled it out. Where was it? Like this over here, where it's still a three position toggle. One, two, three. But on the bottom, you notice it only has one, one row. The reason for this is, is this center one is off. When it's in the middle, both sides are off. So the humbucker will be running normal because no signal will be going through this center prong. So it would always be running perfectly in series when it would uh, be running in series with itself when it was in the center position, which is really cool because then you can control which coil was on and which coil was off. So it gave you a lot of tone possibilities, and they still make their pickups like that. I'm sorry for my finger blocking the camera. Um, <coughs> sorry about that, my throat's a little sore today, a little scratchy. But it's a really cool design. Um, like I said, if you have an older Carvin, I'm actually going to go ahead and post a uh, link to Photo Bucket where I have the technical drawing of this, and you can get all the information on it there. And possibly if you have an older Carvin like this, or even a guitar that just has a corky wiring, um, you can have it done there, uh, which is really, really awesome. So, uh, 
thanks. This is going to be my first video, I believe, on this channel. Um, I'd love to know how you guys liked it. And rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I can do better. Or let me know what I should do. Um, I'm really excited about starting out this YouTube thing. So, all right, I'll see you guys. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, have a good day.